What's up guys? I got a little video for you. It's a, about a month worth of uh, short hunts. I uh, haven't been out detecting too much. It's been really hot. Uh, so I've been kind of keeping it to a minimum. I'm looking for some new spots too. Um, but I think you'll enjoy the video. It's a decent stuff. Nothing great. Uh, but I want to do a shout out today to Quarter Hoarder. Hope that comes out okay with my Boston accent. I would like, I would say a quarter hoarder, but quarter hoarder is uh, the guy's channel. He finds a lot of great stuff. Check him out. I know you're going to like it. Uh, enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday, June 4th, and this is the first dig of the day, and it's a silver coin. I haven't picked it up yet. I think it's a Merc though. I've pulled a ton of Mercs out of this. Yeah, it's a Merc. I've pulled a ton of Mercs out of this park. Uh, let's see. 19. 1940s, I believe. Beautiful. That's a beautiful way to start out my morning. Let's get a look at the back of it. It was reading really deep on the meter, um, so I was digging, digging for deep, and I was just popping like this, and it popped right up. So awesome! All right, guys, I just pulled out this nice 1864 Indian head penny. Get a little close up of it for you. It's beat up, but. 1864, I'll take that all day. Let me uh, flip it around. Nice and green. And uh, it came out from about probably. Oh, my pinpoint is going off. It was a pretty good depth. Probably six, seven inches down. I've got the small coil on today, and every time I put that on, it seems to uh, give me good results, so stay tuned. All right, guys, I got myself another Indian. I believe that's 1800s as well. I'll have to clean it up and... See if I can get a better date off of it. Awesome. Awesome digs. That was deep. Got the small coil on. Let's get another one. Small coils really picking through the trash. Awesome. All right, guys, I just hit this uh, nice old Merc. I think it's a 19, I think it's a 1918. Really, really worn, but I'll take her. Uh, I don't know if there's any mint mark on there. And she was deep. You can see my pinpointer. That had to be, oh, I don't know, at least eight inches down. Beautiful. Take that all day. Let's get something else. I am so excited right now. I just pulled out a large scent. It wasn't even that deep. It was probably maybe five or six inches down. I wasn't even going to dig it because I'm looking for deeper stuff. It's all dirty right now. That is so awesome. I think it's a Lodgy. That looks different to me. Hmm. I'm going to have to clean it up. Let me shut the camera off and clean this up a little bit and see if I can identify it. I th I'm not sure what it is. 
It's an old carver of some sort. All right, let me let me work on it for a minute, and I'll get right back to you. Just dug this round ball at like an insane depth that was like 10 inches down. Look at that. It's heavy. It's got a little... Put it in my good hand. It's got a little dimple right there. Look at that. That's awesome. I don't know if that's a... You know, some type of you know bullet or, or you know what I mean round ball. Or, I don't know. I'm not a. I usually dig coins. <laughs> That's awesome though. I love that. This has been a great day so far. Hey guys, uh, it's July fifth. I'm out digging today, and this is the first uh, target of the day. 1942 Canadian Penny. The front's all chewed up, but the back's pretty good. I'll let you know when I get something else. Got weedy, and now I got some bling bling. Let's check it out. It's tiny. It's tiny. It's a baby one. I wonder if this baby has any any markings on it. Hmm. Well, give me one second. Let's see if I can uh, see if there's any markings on this little guy. It looks like silver. Give me one second. It is Mark Sterling, guys, but it's very, very tiny writing. Right on the inside there. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom. Little sterling ring. Let's keep it going. Here we go, guys. Nice little Merrick. I believe it's a 1920. There it is. Pretty decent shape. Take that. I switched over to the uh, small coil. I was running the big coil. And I ran into it right away, so... Maybe that's, a, maybe that's a sign of things to come. Let's get some more.